Healthcare workers say they need tougher laws to keep them safe while at work. The state's nursing association says things have gotten to a point where some are afraid to go to the office. News 19's Eleanor Tabone has more. Now we have a job that's inherently unsafe. Dr. Kelly Boothley, president of the South Carolina Nursing Association, sees healthcare workers are not being protected. This is becoming more and more of a problem. She says there needs to be tougher penalties for those charged assaulting a healthcare worker. She's pushing for something to happen at the state level. We had a renewed call for making any kind of workforce violence uh, in the hospitals or in any kind of healthcare place a felony. I don't understand why um, this isn't just common sense. She says she's been working for several years to get something passed. Are people scared to go to work? Oh, absolutely, and it's contributing to the nurse burnout. A Prisma Health Toomey mental health technician died on the job last month. In a statement, Prisma Health said they have security on hospital campuses and an active workplace violence task force that is examining how to balance compassionate care with protecting our team members, patients and visitors. According to the Medical University of Charleston in 2019, there were 140 reports of patient employee incidents in the workplace, 77 in both 2020 and 2021. It's just senseless that this is continuing to happen. In Columbia, Eleanor Tobin, News 19, WLTX. Well, there's also a federal push to increase safety in the workplace for healthcare professionals. If passed, it well, it did pass in the House, but so far hasn't gotten approval in the Senate.